Hello, welcome to Arsenal Studios. This is Learning English with Movies. In this video, we will talk about one of my favorite action swashbucklers, The Mask of Zorro. A swashbuckler is a type of adventure that features a heroic protagonist that is adept in swordplay, acrobatics, deceit, and has a chivalrous beliefs. Other popular swashbucklers include The Three Musketeers, Robin Hood, and Pirates of the Caribbean. If you're new here, the goal of this channel is to help intermediate English language students practice and improve their English skills by using movies as the main topic. If you like our content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. The Mask of Zorro is a 1998 action swashbuckler based on the mass vigilante Zorro. Filmmaker Martin Campbell directed the film, which stars Antonio Banderas, Anthony Hopkins, and Catherine Seta Jones. Don Diego de la Vega, played by Hopkins, the original Zorro, escapes from prison to rescue his long-lost daughter, played by Seta Jones, and avenge his wife's death at the hands of the corrupt governor. Don Diego flees to his old headquarters and prepares aimless alcoholic Alejandro Murrieta, played by Antonio Banderas, to be his successor. Aimless means without purpose or direction. His successor assists him by pursuing his own crusade against the governor's right-hand man while falling in love with De La Vega's daughter. To pursue means to follow or search for someone or something in order to catch or attack that person or thing. Meanwhile, Montero, who has covertly raised Diego's daughter Elena, played by Catherine Sarah Jones as his own, develops a scheme to steal California's riches. The film was a critical and box office success a sequel, 2005's The Legend of Zorro, also directed by Campbell, did not fare as well as its predecessor. To fare well means to be successful. In the film, the Knights of Aragon are a secret organization that intends to prevent California from joining the United States, and only the legendary Zorro can stop them. Unfortunately for Zorro, also known as Don Alejandro de la Vega, he has his own problems at home. His wife, Elena, is divorcing him because he spends too much time pursuing heroics and not enough time being a father to the young son. However, when the secret organization commanded by Armand, played by Rufus Sill, threatens the entire United States, Sorrow is dragged back into duty. To drag means to pull someone or something along forcefully, roughly, or with difficulty. Martin Campbell is a filmmaker from New Zealand best known for directing the James Bond blockbusters GoldenEye and Casino Royale. Antonio Banderas is a Spanish actor and singer. He began his acting career with a series of films by director Pedro Almodovar before appearing in several Hollywood films including Philadelphia, Interview with a Vampire, Desperado, just to name a few. He has also provided the voice of Puss in Boots in the Shrek franchise and his spin-off films. Puss is an informal term referring to a domestic cat. The Mask of Zorro was produced by Amblin Entertainment, Steven Spielberg's production company. The producers hired screenwriter Joel Gross to rewrite the script after they were impressed by his adaptation of Disney's The Three Musketeers. Robert Rodriguez, fresh of the success of Desperado, was hired to direct with Antonio Banderas as Zorro. However, Rodriguez pulled out of the film over difficulties coming to terms with the budget. Banderas remained with the production and Martin Campbell signed as director. Zorro, Spanish for Fox, is a fictional character created by Johnson McCulley, an American pop writer in 1919. He's frequently presented as a daring mass vigilante who protects California's commoners and indigenous peoples from corrupt and dictatorial politicians and other villains. Daring means the quality of being brave and willing to take risks. In these stories, Soros is too skilled and cunning for the clumsy authorities to arrest, and he also enjoys publicly humiliating them. Because of his fox-like cunning and charm, the villagers began to refer to him as El Zorro. Cunning means having or showing skill in achieving one's end by deceit or evasion. Zorro is an acrobat and proficient in several weapons, but his favorite is his sword, which he frequently uses to carve the letter Z on his slain adversaries and other items to sign his work. 
He's also a skilled rider and his trusty steed is a black horse named Tornado. A steed is a horse user trained for riding. The character has also appeared in over 40 films and 10 television shows, the most notable of which was the Disney-produced Zorro series starring Guy Williams from 1957 to 1959. The character has also been featured in countless stories, comic books and video games. Several Zorro projects have been in development since the release of The Legend of Zorro. Acclaimed filmmaker Quentin Tarantino tried to develop a film adaptation of a comic book crossover of Yango and Zorro, hoping to cast Jamie Foxx and Antonio Banderas on their iconic roles. Unfortunately, the project never materialized. In a recent interview, Antonio Banderas has expressed interest in potentially returning for a sequel or reboot and even suggested casting Tom Holland for the role. Disney is currently developing a TV series based on the legendary character with actor Wilmer Valderrama, who is also the executive producer. The project is a reimagining of the Zorro TV series produced by Disney in the 1950s. Before we continue, I would like to invite you to check out my online course at Thinkific. The Learning English with Movies course was designed for intermediate English language students who love movies and filmmaking. You can practice your English reading and listening skills, learn your key vocabulary and grammar, and confirm your comprehension with fun quizzes. The Learning English with Movies Kindle ebook is also available from Amazon. For more information as well as funny, useful tips and recommendations, you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Now let's get back to the video. The Passive Voice the passive voice is used if the action is more important than who is doing the action. Example, a demonstration has been held to protest the governor. This movie was released in theaters in 1998. The passive voice is used if the agent is not known. Example, he was offered a job as Zorro. They are supposed to be good swordsmen. Please note that there can be a difference in meaning between the passive of simple and continuous tenses. Example, a new church is built in our town, refers to the church is finished, versus a new church is being built in our town. In other words, they are building it these days, but it is not finished. The passive voice is typical of an impersonal and formal style. That is why you can often find it in public notices, announcements, instructions, etc. Example, English is spoken in this shop. The townspeople are not allowed to vote. Thanks for watching. Have you seen The Mask of Zorro? Would you like to see more movies featuring this legendary character? Who would you cast as the new Zorro? Write down your thoughts in the comments below.